started on the heat exchanger. Here's the top of it. I'm going to cut this out and put a bigger pipe in there. You might be able to see in there pipes. And you can see it there. And one-handed <laughs> there it is so this here the uh, the lip here fits into this under this lip here I'm gonna put a stove gasket in there and uh, so it's gonna seal when I set it in there and this is a total of 12 pipes uh, about 36 inches long so that gives me uh, about 36 feet of pipe for my heat exchange surface and then uh, on the other end here you can see how they're laid out I'm going to uh, make another cap for the bottom end with another pipe off of it. Uh, probably going to end up being about two inch pipe. I have to do the calculations for how much volume or how much how many holes I have here versus a single pipe for the inlet and the outlet. And then uh, so that's the idea. It fits down in there. Just like that. And uh, I'm going to keep working on that. There it is inside the casing. I've got it running. It's all tack welded inside there. I'm testing it before I do any final welding. I want to make sure I didn't screw anything up. I've got the heat exchanger in there. Um, just to test the airflow, uh, it's not actually finished yet. It's not ready to run water through it, but it's got all the pipes in there, so I'm just testing to see if what how that changes how the uh, fire draws and burns and such so forth. And then uh, this is still just a temporary attachment with a makeshift cover on the end of that and then for the firebox here uh, I'm gonna weld this on right now it's just sitting on there and uh, be a little ash catch sort of in case debris wants to fall out it'll be a nice little area for that and then here's the feed tube um, cartridge um, I've got it loaded full of chips that are pretty wet <laughs> so this is partly some smoke and mostly steam from the chips heating up and drying out and uh, I discovered that if I block off most of the air down here it forces it to draw downdraft style through the chips and uh, don't have to put a cover on this and it actually works really well so I packed this all the way up I'm going to see how long it takes to burn a full load of chips. Um, like I said, they're kind of wet, so I think they could probably burn better. And then there's what's coming out. It's burning kind of slow. Um, I don't have any insulation inside there yet. Let's see if that's too hot to touch. This is the old door to when it used to be the old setup and uh, can't see much but it's pretty darn hot in there right now holy moly yeah it's pretty warm so uh, insulation I think is going to uh, make a difference there and 
I'll probably sand it and paint it and make a door for this. Put a hinge on here and make a little door so I can adjust the airflow um, or shut it off if I want. Probably still put a door up here in case I need to shut that off. And then uh, put a sort of a cap on the end of the ash cleanout. Yeah, so there's where the uh, heat exchanger in pipe is going to come out. And then the hot water out pipe is going to be off the top of that little dome. And then, uh, yeah, I'm just going to let this burn for a while and see how long it takes. Oh yeah, and I, uh, I made a grate for wood chips. It slants up to hold the chips so they fall towards the back there. And, uh, oh yeah, look at that. I opened the door and... Lots of smoke coming out of there, so that works. Shut that back up. Everything is pretty much welded up. In position. I'm ready to give the heat exchanger a little trial run. Here it is. Uh, got this elbow here. Welded a little nipple on there, threaded nipple two inch, and then that two inch elbow, and then this connector here is going to go to my spa tube, uh, PVC spa flex, which I have hooked up to a five gallon bucket to uh, give this thing a little test. Got a little pool thermometer, and I'm going to run it for a little bit and see whether the thermosiphon works. Um, you can see I welded all the seams on this so it's tight. Uh, put a little junction here for the chimney to fit into nice and tight. No uh, air leaks, no leaks in there. Um, yeah, welded everything I could. Which is just a thing. And then here's where the bottom uh, intake for the heat exchanger. And then this is the out outflow. So, alright, I'm going to fill this with water. Make sure it actually holds water. Connect this, fill that with water, and uh, start a little fire.